you know, it was, uh, it, you know, it was disappointing to me. Number one, the way we played, and 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 when you when you don't play really really well against a team as good as JMU, then uh, it makes for a long day, and that's what uh, that's kind of kind of what happened. Um, you know, we hurt ourselves. We we had penalties, we had turnovers, and and things like that. And and they're just a very very good team. They take advantage of it. They execute it, and then they made plays. And uh, and and we kind of let things snowball against us. Some of our I mean, we may have lost our poise a little bit here and there, but um, you know, it was one of those things. It was a it was a tough day. Questions? Jimmy, there was a moment there when you guys started moving the ball uh, in the first quarter and then the fumble. Mm -hmm. Well, that that certainly set it back. So again, we, you know, we felt you know felt pretty good there. Had a nice little play, first down, and boom, they give them the fumble and they get it and take it down there. And again, it, it, you know, we knew going in, uh, we'd have to play a pretty, um, I don't know if I say flawless game, but a pretty mistake-free game um, in order to to continue to compete and play like we needed to. And and that kind of started things. And then we weren't able to regroup there after that. Well, I thought we could do better in, in the throwing game. I, I did. I mean, they're very good on defense. I mean, they're very good on defense. They're very fast and all that. And receivers were having a, a difficult time getting off some of their their um, defensive max coverage. And uh, we were having, you know, up, you know, we're we're very very young up front on our offensive line, and we were hoping we could match up and do a little better than we did up there. And we weren't able to. We weren't able to hold up there like we would would have needed to. No, not at all. Well, he's a very uh, he's a very skilled, a very confident player, and uh, uh, you know he knows how to he knows how to play corner. I mean, he knows how to play, and he knows how much he can, how much room he can give you, and how much he can't, and how to close on things, and do you know how to do a lot of that. He's seen a lot of you know you know he's seen a lot of he's seen a lot of different people, a lot of different routes in his time, and that that experience helps. You know, plus being good players. But he, I mean, there's other good players too. I mean, I mean, it helps when you're a defensive back when um, when the quarterback doesn't have a whole lot of time to throw the ball. Uh, that's probably as, as as important as anything. How hard is it to match? I guess what they do with the defense line with as many guys as they can take over. Uh, well. It's hard. It's hard. I mean, we're playing. We got a couple walk-ons, a freshman in there, and some young. I mean, you know, it, it, they'll be fine. And you know, these guys will. They're they're battling. And they're working at it. They're working at it hard. You know, but um, you know, they they can they can wear you down with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you think back, yeah. Even a little farther. Uh, just how does this change compared to the working years? Well, I think you're very comparable to the last two that we've seen. You know, it's hard to. You know, you could split Harrison a little better here, not as good here, but um, um, yeah, from what I've seen, um, they, uh, I mean, having the depth they have on their defensive line really makes a big plus for them. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I'm trying to draw back on what little short-term memory I have left after all this stuff, but uh, I think you're comparable to the last two teams, yeah, I think so.